You know, Mike, uh, last night when you're watching all this and when you're sifting through all the information, I noticed a GoFundMe page for DeMar Hamlin. He ran a toy drive uh, in his native McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania for Christmas. And his goal for this toy drive on the GoFundMe page was for $2,500. With that $2,500, he had hoped to buy some toys for underprivileged children where he came from. And I just refreshed the page, and as of this morning, there have been 127,000 donations to the toy drive. And the toy drive now stands at more than $3.2 $3.2 million. And that isn't just Bills fans or sympathetic Bengals fans. That is from people all over planet Earth. And that is how much this has impacted and affected everyone. And I just kept thinking to myself, think how, when and if... Uh, DeMar Hamlin, who currently uh, lays apparently sedated in a Cincinnati hospital, think about what will happen when DeMar Hamlin finds that out. And I just kept thinking to myself, imagine how thrilled he will be at this horrendous turn of events that became something uh, incredibly positive at the same time. And obviously that is a byproduct, a sidebar, it's not nearly uh, as important as anything related to DeMar Hamlin's health. But I did think that you talked about everyone coming together at a time like this and Bills players, Bengals players coming together at a time like this. And I can think of nothing else that binds people, you know, through the sport of football than an event that everybody can say, we need to show DeMar Hamlin that we really care about him. And I do think his GoFundMe page screams that we care about you, DeMar Hamlin. And, and it's a vehicle for people to do something slash anything to show that they care. The Bills fans started this dynamic several years ago with showing appreciation, showing respect, showing love and admiration by contributing to the causes important to the players. Remember, it was a playoff win by the Bengals over the Ravens yeah. that got the Bills in several years ago. And Andy Dalton, the Bengals quarterback at the time, his foundation was flooded with donations from Bills fans. Within the past two years, when Josh Allen's grandmother died, Bills fans and fans of all teams flooded the hospital in Buffalo, O'Shea Children's Hospital, with millions of dollars in donations. It's a way that, that people can show they care at a time of serious need where there's nothing that really can be done. We hear that all the time. We say that all the time. Let me know if there's anything I can do because people want to help even if there is nothing that can be done. In situations like this, people find something they can do. And it illustrates how many people care. It illustrates how many people are concerned, are worried, are praying for this young man. And this number is going to keep going up and up and up, Peter. As you said, it's over 3.2 million. It will keep going up and up because this is the one vehicle for people to, con to continue to show that they care about the men who play the game, and specifically this young man, DeMar Hamlin, as he continues to receive care and continues to be in critical condition at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.